Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant are two of the greatest scorers to ever play the game. As we've seen in the Last Dance series, MJ was also one of the greatest competitors. Between Jordan's six championship rings in the 90s and Kobe's five rings in the early 2000s, what did these two have in common? Both were great scorers before they were able to win NBA championships. Jordan, for example, had captured four straight NBA scoring titles before his first championship season. So what changed for MJ and Kobe when they began winning championships? Beyond their amazing supporting cast and growing experience in the league, the one thing that was consistent for all of their combined 11 championships was head coach Phil Jackson. What was Phil Jackson able to bring out of them? What was the missing piece beyond scoring and competitiveness? Phil taught them the importance of being here, now, of being present. Listen to Kobe talk about Phil's impact on the teams he coached. And so when you watch our teams, or you watch any of Phil's teams, or Chicago teams, game six against Utah, you watch our games, you know, game seven against Boston, we were never rattled, ever, because we were always in the moment, always in the present, always extremely calm, always looking at the reality of the situation and not letting our emotions cloud our execution. And that comes from being in that meditative state that he would teach and preach from day one. Phil Jackson's greatest strength wasn't making them better scores or changing tactical strategies. While those things are important, the impact he had was showing them the importance of being here, now. I believe Jordan had that naturally, and Phil allowed him to utilize it. Uh, it's, it's about following the moment. being in harmony with the moment. A common characteristic of high-functioning people is their ability to do more in one day than the average person. Anticipating or worrying about possible future outcomes and replaying or regretting what happened in our past drains our energy. By being present, Kobe has the energy to be in the gym at 5 a.m. every day, and Michael has the energy to scrimmage for three hours every night after filming for Space Jam. Jordan has every reason to have his mind full. Thousands waiting for his autograph, endorsement deals, rumors, and of course his father's death. Despite being the most popular man in America, you can see he lives in the moment and is constantly in a state of play. From the time he wakes up in the morning, Jordan is engaged. Whether it's on the court, making jokes, dancing, golfing, or sometimes gambling, he's engaged in the present moment. Even when he's traveling from A to B, he's either playing cards with his teammates or dancing to music. Jackson wasn't a motivator. He showed players a way to do things from a calm place. He was calm and present. He led by example. Phil, Kobe, and MJ taught us valuable wisdom. The ability to live in the present moment is the key to greatness. A big downfall for a lot of players is thinking about failure. Michael didn't allow what he couldn't control to get inside his head. Why would I think about missing a shot I haven't taken? His gift was not that he could jump high, run fast, shoot a basketball. His gift was that he was completely present, and that was the separator. It's a moment, it's a moment, that Zen Buddhism shit, y'all get in the moment and stay here.